So we, we introduce the gas, di ba kasi gas absorption, ano? we introduce the gas at the bottom right here. Tapos we spray the liquid solvent at the top. So even ganyan, ano? Tapos right here in this area, we place the packing material. No? So ganun, actually, ganyan lang naman kasimple. <clears throat> so let's, let's take a look at different packing materials. So we have the these are the you know, the most common packing material you know, the rashi ring the lessing ring the burl saddle and the pal ring pero actually marami pang iba you can check the handbook ano na ninth edition kayo marami mga bago pa pero these are the basic you know, uh, power packings Okay so this is this is the rashi ring you know? So as you can see uh, ang ang size niya equal yung height at saka diameter So ang size niya mga 1 inch No? Kung mga 1 inch yung height, tapos 1 inch din yung uh, diameter. No? So, this is invented by Friedrich Raschig. He's a German chemist. And then, syempre, alam na yan nung ano, 1935 sa MIT, you know, na mas efficient siya compared sa tray column. <clears throat> so, pag halimbawa, magkukumpare kayo ng height ng tray column, yung una natin din sa yung plate column, tawag din doon is another stray column ano usually may given na efficiency yung tray column with respect to the pack column so uh, ang default na efficiency ng pack column ay 100% pag hindi given yung kanyang efficiency okay so <clears throat> what's the purpose of this packing material basically this increases the surface area of contact between the gas and the liquid ano <clears throat> Kasi imagine niyo yung yung liquid can be distributed no it can wet this uh, packing material so, so, so loob sa labas eh, imagine that halimbawa basta na lang in spray yung liquid ano so mabilis pa siyang bumagsak di ba pag in spray niyo lang sa taas tapos you just blow uh, gas at the bottom of the tower so relatively konti lang yung area of contact no <clears throat> So I compare that imagine imagine din ba mayroon tayong plate column. So at uh, siyempre pag may plate column kahit paano babagal. No babagal yung yung pagpapas ng liquid at saka ng gas. So medyo mas matagal yung contact nila, relatively mas malaki yung area of contact. Pero compared to this, so empirically at saka kahit naman isipin niyo, mas malaki pa rin yung area of contact when you use packing materials, ano? <clears throat> So as I previously told you, ang kauna-unahang packing materials yung helix you know? that's why we have shell helix it's a it's a ring yung helix ring siya tapos pinunit lamang yung isang side tapos uh, dinis align so ganun lamang yung ginamit ni na yung ginamit nila sa Massachusetts Institute of Technology noong 1935 ano? so relatively chemical engineering is a young course dati kasi ang tawag pa dito industrial chemistry so noong 1935 lang talaga nagkaroon ng mga chemical engineer okay. so this is this can be ano rusty greens can be made of ceramics or metals tapos ang common size niya is 1 inch. Ibig sabihin 1 inch yung diameter, 1 inch din yung height. Ano? Pero mamaya, later, hindi ko lang alam kung mamaya or next meeting. Next meeting or mamaya, probably next meeting, uh, we're going to take a look at different sizes of Rashi Griggs. May table naman sa handbook. Sana nasa 9th edition pa rin. And then next is the lessing ring. So yung lessing ring naman, it's, it's quite similar to Rashi Griggs. Yun nga lang, meron siya dito sa gitna. No? Meron siyang partition inside. So ano bang purpose ng partition? The partition increases its strength and also its surface area. So dalawa yung purpose niya. Ano? Um, kasi pag binus niya sa column, na-imagine niya ba? Pag binus niya sa column, yung rashi green kasi may, may tendency siyang uh, mabaak. Kasi yun ba? Nasa, siya na, nasa pinakailalim tapos marami sa ibabaw. So mabigat yung... Di ba mataas yung pressure pag nasa ilalim siya? Di ba? Parang mabigat yung daladala niyang packing material. So may tendency yung rashi ring na mabaak, di ba? So ang ang purpose ng support niya sa gitna, generally yung lessing ring mas matibay siya. So yung ibang uh, pack column, ang ginagawa nila, yung lessing ring yung sa ilalim tapos sa ibabaw, rashi ring. 
at this point na imagine niyo naman ano basically binubuhos lamang yan sa ano sa in order to in order to publicate a gas absorption pack column you just pour this inside the drum or inside the column or the metal cylindrical uh, container no so this is commonly used in the bottom part of the absorption tower kasi mas matibay siya ano meron sa gitna at the same time nag increase din yung surface area So these are the different available sizes. We have 50, 80, 100, 120, 150 millimeter. So makikita nyo rin naman yan mamaya sa table or next meeting pala. Sa table natin sa ano, sa handbook. Okay, so this is the lessing ring. Tandaan nyo yung mga itsura nila. And then this is the burl saddle. So the burl saddle performs better than the rashi ring because it provides better fluid distribution and lower resistance to flow. No? So you might be asking bakit uh, empirical yan ano empirical yung evidence diyan so siguro nagran sila ng ano ng mga samples no and then they find this no mas efficient siya tapos mas mababa yung resistance niya sa flow <clears throat> how do you find the ano resistance to flow parang ano rin lang yan yung uh, momentum transfer di ba pag sa, pag sa pipes nag, nagkakaroon ng pressure drop no pag mahabang mahaba yung pipes so dito rin sa sa absorption tower meron din ng yayaring pressure drop no kasi nga nakaharang to <clears throat> nakaharang yung mga packing materials okay so so compared sa ano probably compared sa rashi green mas mababa yung pressure drop pag bersado yung ginamit So empirical ano yan, ano? empirical evidence in reason dyan. <clears throat> so ang disadvantage nito ay yung nesting. So pag sinabing nesting, no? Kasi di ba ang ang gas absorption continuous yung operation niya. So, ideally, dapat yung liquid magpo-flow continuously uh, from the top papunta sa bottom. So pag sinabing nesting, merong isang portion nung nung ano nung tower wherein hindi hindi nagpo-flow yung liquid. So, kumbaga yung yung halimbawa yung liquid namimili lang siya ng dadaanan. Siguro kasi may may possibility kasi to pag mo kasi hindi siya ano eh, hindi siya symmetrical ano. I mean, symmetrical naman siya pero wala yung isang side niya ano. So, may possibility na pag kasi binubuhos lang naman yan sa tower eh, may possibility na yung isang yung isang ano halimbawa yung isang area hindi maganda yung pagkaka-arrange ng burl saddle tapos uh, hindi siya masyadong dinadaanan ng liquid no okay so parang ang 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 ano no ang nangyayari parang hindi effective yung area niya kasi hindi naman siya dinadaanan ng liquid halimbawa yung gas lang yung nakakadaan o pwedeng hindi rin nakakadaan yung gas na imagine niyo ba yan so mas nagiging less efficient siya y yun yung isang disadvantage ng ano ng nesting ano ay ng nesting ng burl saddle sorry <clears throat> So probably pag hindi siguro maganda may raming nesting binubus nila ulit no o kaya they, they develop a way para matanggal yung nesting So this is relatively fragile no compared to rashi green kasi syempre yung rashi green buo no So as you can see ito mas medyo mas madali siyang mag-crack Okay, these are, these are the different sizes of the burl saddles. 3, 8 inch, 1 half inch, 1 inch, and then 2 inches. Ano? So, para lang ma-imagine nyo. Pero mamaya, later, makikita rin natin yung sa table yung mga sizes nyo. So, probably that size uh, pertains to the diameter. Ano? Yung maximum diameter nyo. Saddle. Saddle kasi, di ba, nakasakay na kayo ng kabayo. Nakasakay na kayo ng kabayo. Tatagaytay, bagyo. So di ba pag sumakay kayo ng kabayo na wala yung saddle, nakasakay na ba kayo ng wala yung saddle? Matigas kasi yung buto nila. Ano bata pa ako na nakasakay pa ako ng kalabaw eh. Ano ba ka? <clears throat> Matigas yung buto. So hindi siya comfortableng anuhan, sakyan. So <clears throat> you, you need to use a saddle para comfortableng sakyan, ano? <clears throat> yung shape niya parang saddle. For saddle. And then I think this is the last one. This is the pal ring, no? 
So, kamukha din ni Rashi, ng Rashi Green. This is invented by Paul. Si Mr. Paul. P-A-L-L. Ano? So, it has similar cylindrical dimension sa Rashi Green. But yun nga, ano? it has two rows of punch-out holes. No? Butas. Tapos with fingers out or webs turned into the center of the cylinder. Ayan, ganyan. Ano? Kita nyo? Meron siyang webs. Para si Spider-Man. This, this significantly increases the performance of the packing. So parang ganito, ano? this is a glass column, glass absorption column. Tapos ibubuhos nyo lamang yung packing material. Na-imagine nyo? Ganun lang. Ano na yan? Glass absorption tower na yan. <clears throat> so this is more efficient than compared to the Rashi Green. Ano? Tapos syempre, relatively mas mababa yung pressure drop dito. Kasi butas-butas siya. Okay? This is the pal ring. <clears throat> Sana kung ano na, mga ganito yung thesis nyo. Nung, nung college kami, ganito yung mga thesis namin. Pero syempre, supported kami ng DOST. So, nag, kami, na, nagdi-design kami ng mga equipment. Tapos later on, yun yung ginamit na equipment sa laboratory ng UPLB. No? So, meron kami kaklaseng nag-design ng steam generator. Ito, madali lang to Madali lang itong... Uh, <coughs> no? Fabrication nitong mga... gas absorption tower. Yun nga lang, madali siyang i-design kaya lang magastos. <clears throat> Siyempre, alam niyo naman sitwasyon ngayon. Ano? <clears throat> eh, dati naman kami nung maka mano naman yun, funded naman siya ng DOST. Hindi ako hindi talaga kami naglalabas. <clears throat> Basically, binabalidate lang namin. Ano? Tatakbo lang kami ng experiment. <clears throat> Tapos yun, Tupak nga ako minsan eh, yung, yung distillation column namin, hindi siya nag-work pag hindi total reflux. Ibig sabihin, pag hindi mo binalik lahat ng product, hindi, hindi niya nakoconcentrate yung, ano, yung alcohol. Siyempre, mga estudyante pa rin lang naman kami. Libro din ang inaasahan namin. Tsaka wala pa nung Aspen High Seas. Ano? <clears throat> Pero na, napapakinabangan namin. Hindi ko lang alam kung ngayon uh, working pa rin siya. <clears throat> Um, sa MCL puro ano puro yung yung laboratory equipment sa chemical engineering lab puro ano puro imported so galing Europe so mas maganda actually yung mga gamit niya ano mas maganda yung mga gamit sa MCL kaysa sa dati ah nung time ko kaysa sa UPLB yung, yung sa UPLB mga gawa lang ng estudyante <clears throat> sa UPD naman naman ko Mga, kita mo yung mga distillation column nila. Parang ano pa, panahon pa ng mga Amerikano, mga 19, before, before World War II, ano? So, naka-display lang, pang, pang museum. <clears throat> Ewan ko lang kung na-update na nila. Nung nag-MS ako doon, yun pa yung mga naabutan ko. <clears throat> okay, so, there, there are, ano, no? several other uh, packing materials. No? Pero yung, yung actually, yung basic lang naman yung kailangan yung makita. Ano? Okay, so let's let's go to the mathematics of pack towers. So we have several equations right here. First, we have Z. Z is the height of the column. No? So syempre, pag magdi-design kayo ng, ng, ano, ng pack column, ng pack tower, Ang, ang kailangan yung i-calculate yung kanyang height, no? <clears throat> Later magka-calculate tayo ng ano ng diameter, no? Height at saka diameter lang naman. Pero yung diameter kasi simple lang naman yun. Gagamitan lang natin ng uh, gas velocity, mass velocity. So mass velocity concept lang naman. Yun. <clears throat> ito ito yung medyo ano, medyo kailangan natin pag-aralan, ano? Yung height. So yung height, uh, we have here this equation hub No, we, we, we used to, <laughs> ewan ko, siguro mga Tagalog na lang na ano yan. So we, we, we read this as hug nag, you know? say is equals to hug nag. So H, uh, ang, ang, ang Z, that's the, sorry, yeah. yung Z, that's the, oh, saan ba yun? Ayaw ko man, dahil lang. <clears throat> so yung Z, this is the height of the pack tower, you no? Know? Tapos yung HOG, 
So this is the height of its uh, theoretical stage. You know? So tapos yung NOG. NOG is the number of theoretical stages. Diba? You, you have an idea naman ng, ano, ng theoretical stages. <clears throat> Nakuha na rin naman natin yan sa gas absorption, di ba? <clears throat> okay? So, basically, mamultiply nyo lamang yung height ng bawat isang theoretical stage tapos times the NOG. You, you will get the total height of the tower or the height of the pack tower. Ano? Tapos we have here the equation for HOG. So, ano? Colson yung gamitin natin. Ha? So, sa Colson, this is B prime. So pag sinabing B prime, uh, that's that's the ano uh, that's the that's the molar flow rate, no? Molar flow rate of the of the air of the inert gas, no? Inert, ano? Pag sinabing inert gas, that could be the air, pwede, ano? Basta yung 'di ba ang assumption natin yung air uh, enters the top tower at the bottom, then all of it exits at the top. Walang matatransfer dun sa solvent. Ganun yung ideal ano, diba, gas absorption. So ganun, ganun din dito. Meron din tayong ano, uh, inert gas. So whatever B prime yung pumasok, yun din yung lalabas dun sa taas. No? Bawa ito yung tower natin. So kung pumasok dito, B prime, halimbawa ito yung air, pag lalabas din yan dito na B prime. Tandaan nyo pa naman, di ba? So ang HOG natin ay B prime, no? And then KYA, KYA this is the uh, mass transfer coefficient, no? 'Di ba? Uh, parang heat transfer coefficient siya. So this is the mass transfer coefficient. Remember nasa module 2 na tayo, 'di ba? Mass transfer na yung topic natin. No? So that's why KYA is the mass transfer coefficient. Tapos yung S, S is the area. No? This is the, yung bawa, ito yung tower. Ito yan. Yung bawa, ito yung tower. Ito yung S. The cross-sectional area. S is the cross-sectional area. Okay? So, alimbawa, how, how are you going to calculate this? Alimbawa, ano siya? Cylinder. So, S is equals to pi over 4. B squared enough to get the diameter of the cylinder. <clears throat> Any questions so far regarding HOG? Mamaya di derive natin to isa isa. Ano? What about NOG? So NOG is the number of theoretical stages. Ano? So this is y1 minus y2. <clears throat> Medyo iba lamang yung variable na ginagamit ni. I'm, I'm getting this derivation from ano? This equation from Paulson, you know, medyo, kasi di ba dati kay Gene Coplis, nung nasa, nasa absorption tayo, YB sa baba. Ngayon, ano na siya, Y1 at saka Y2. So Y1 minus Y2, kung alin yung mas mataas, yun yung Y1. So yung Y1, kasi gas absorption, ito yan sa baba. No? Actually, pwede nyo naman balik ta rin, basta make sure na positive yung NOG. Ano, pwede nyo ilagay dito yung Y2, walang problema. Basta Y1 minus Y2, positive. Kasi yung y, y, y minus Y sub I L N, yung sa ilalim niya, uh, <coughs> dapat positive din yun. Ano? So basically yung Y1 minus Y2, this is the, ito yung ano, ito yung range. No? Ito yung range. This is, ito yung range ng concentration ng sa gas absorption. Ano? From Y1, tapos Y2 sa taas, di ba? Bababa yung concentration ng gas. So ito yung, ito yung range ng concentration ng gas natin. Tapos ito namang y minus y sub i ln or y minus y prime ln. Uh, yan naman yung ano, yan naman yung average approach, no? So, halimbawa, ito y1. So meron siyang kapartner dito na y1 prime. Tapos ito y2, meron siya ditong kapartner na y2 prime. So, halimbawa, y1 minus y1 prime, ano yon? Delta y you can you can call that delta y1, no? Tapos yung y2 minus y2 prime, you can call that delta y2. <clears throat> you got the idea? Tapos, kunin nyo lamang yung logarithmic average. 
So ang logarithmic average nun is this one. Ano? Y1 minus Y1i. I'm, I'm, minsan nagkakaiba yung ano ko. Ano. Pwede yan. Y, pwedeng I kasi interpatient or pwede rin prime. It's, it's really up to you. Pero parehas lang yun. Ano? <clears throat> parehas lang yung I at saka yung prime. So Y1 minus Y1i minus Y2 minus Y2i. Sa problem ako, ginagawa ko, kinakalculate ko muna yung delta Y1 at saka delta Y2. Tsaka ako, Tsaka ako pinapasok doon sa equation ng y, y minus y sub i L n. Okay? So do you have any questions so far? <clears throat> so kung kumbaga, what I'm trying to say is this is this is range and then this is average average uh, approach. No? You see the logic in calculating ano, <clears throat> in calculating NOG? range divided by average suppose. Kamo ka din ang ginawa natin sa gas absorption. Then basically, you just multiply this NOG, this is the number of stages with the um uh, height of its theoretical stage. No? So, pag multiply niyo yung dalawa, you're going to get the total. Question so far? Do you have any question? Now, let's let's try to derive this equation. So, no? so clear ko muna yung board, clear ko muna yung PowerPoint. Let's try to derive these equations. No? <clears throat> so, let's start with the ano, fixed law. Ano sabi ng fixed law? <clears throat> sabi ng fixed law, yung, yung daw uh, flux, no? yung flux, yung transfer ng gases. Diba? Usually, ang flux ay bawa, mole, per unit time or gram mole per unit time or kilogram mole per unit time per unit area. Sabi ng fixed law, yung flux ay equal sa, is directly proportional sa uh, <coughs> sa ano, sa concentration. Di ba? Difference. Okay? Or in other words, concentration difference is the driving force of mass transfer. Di ba? Yung sinasabi ng fixed law. So, directly proportional siya. Let's, let's use kg. Nabang ginamit ito. KY, let's use KY. Now let's use KY. Ito yung, ito yung constant of proportionality. Ito yung mass transfer coefficient. <clears throat> sa, con sa, ano, sa concentration difference. So ang concentration difference natin, di ba yung approach, average approach. So let's, let's call that Y minus Y sub I. Ln. Do you agree with this basic equation of the fixed law? Do you have any question? Di ba sabi lang naman ng fixed law, yung concentration difference this is the approach is directly proportional dun sa uh, molar flux and sub a <clears throat> okay so ano pa how do we how do we how do we ano how do we um, put the flux the molar flux in an equation diba by definition this is equal dun sa uh, molar flow flow rate, molar flow rate, n sub a dot, divided by the area. This, is, this area is the total area of contact between the gas and the liquid. Ano? So, equal yan sa k sub y, tapos y minus y sub i. Any question? Diba ito yung definition ng flux? Ano? Molar flow rate divided by the total area. <coughs> tapos, sunod. Um, imagine this system. Di ba ang assumption natin sa ano, ideal gas absorption, um, meron tayong constant, yung inert gas, kung ano yung pumasok, B prime, yun din yung lalabas. No? B prime. <clears throat> ngayon, ngayon, kay Colson, ina-express niya yung concentration na limbawa Y1. Limbawa Y1. Yung, yung Y1, ang, ang unit ni Colson ay uh, mole mole of the gas no or kilogram mole of the gas divided by kilogram mole of inert gas or inert ano <clears throat> ganyan yung ano ni Colson ano so so pag pag pinag pinag multiply mo tong dalawa ang lalabas diyan kilogram mole of gas no magka-cancel lamang itong kilogram mole of inert gas So, halimbawa, ito yung Y1, tapos ito yung Y2 dito sa taas. No? <clears throat> so, basically, ang, di ba ang assumption natin, yung gas lamang yung magta-transfer. No? 
yung gas lang yung magta-transfer. Yung solvent, hindi siya sasama sa air. Okay, hindi siya sasama sa air. Tapos yun namang inert gas, hindi siya madidissolve dun sa liquid. So yung gas lang yung ta-transfer. So, with this, with this, we can, we can express N sub A that as equal to B prime times Y1 minus Y2. Do you agree? Kasi diba B prime times Y1, yan yung original number of moles ng gas. Tapos B prime times Y2, yan, yan na lang yung natira. So yung na-transfer na gas is B prime times Y1 minus Y2. Quantity Y1 minus Y2. No, so just, we just replace N prime with this uh, equation. Kikita niyo na ba kung paano madi-derive yung equation? Okay, another thing. Yung area, yung area kasi we, we are using packing material. So no? So we have we have a table in the handbook. Uh, meron tayong ano doon, meron sa table merong property ng packing materials na yung ang tawag natin is A, no? Parang relative area. Anyway, makikita naman natin mamaya. Basta yung A, ano? <clears throat> itong A na to, itong A na property ng packing material, <clears throat> ang unit nito is uh, area, uh, halimbawa meter squared per cubic meter, per volume. No? So, eh, parang area niya per volume <clears throat> nung, nung packing material. Now, imagine nyo, halimbawa, bumili kayo ng 1 cubic meter nung packing material. Actually, by, by kilogram naman yun. Ano? Later, makikita niyo mamaya. Anyway, basta imagine niyo lang, bago bumili kayo ng 1 cubic meter ng packing material. So, tingnan niyo yung table sa handbook and then you will find kung ano yung kanyang A, yung kanyang meter squared per per cubic meter. No? So, how do we express itong total area of contact? So, ang total area of contact is itong A na to, itong capital A, is actually yung volume ng tower, yung volume ng tower times yung area property ng packing material. No? Tapos yung volume ng tower Diba? Pag cylinder siya or kahit na anong shape niya is, is just basically yung S. S is the uh, cross-sectional area times the height. Do you agree? So sa ilalim, magkakaroon kayo ng na, pa, pasok nyo dito, magkakaroon kayo ng A times S times Z. And then that's it. Diba? That's it. I-ano nyo na lang. I-isolate nyo na lang yung Z. So pag in-isolate nyo yung Z, cross-multiplication, cross pag in-isolate nyo yung C, uh, no, cross-multiply nyo, tapos transfer nyo to kung may imagine nyo, you will have B prime divided by K Y A times S, tapos uh, you have uh, Y1 minus Y2 divided by Y minus Y sub I ln. Okay? So, Generally lang ginagawa yung A, yung property ng material, at saka yung KY, pinagsasama na lang into a single constant. So we have a KYA na constant. Usually yun yung given sa problem, KYA na constant. Ni isa na lang to. Ano? <clears throat> Tapos B prime here, remember B prime is the molar flow rate ng inert gas. No? Molar flow rate ng inert gas. Tapos yung S is the cross-sectional area. Tapos itong, itong buo na to, as you can see, this becomes your hub. And then itong buo na to, itong second part, this becomes your NOG. So do you have any question regarding the derivation of these equations? <clears throat> Questions? Clarifications? Naintindihan? You need to understand this derivation. Ang board exam natin, paikot-ikot. No? Sabi nga nung mga estudyante ko dati, out of the world. <laughs> out of the world daw yung mga unit of problem ko. Actually, those are old board exam. You must prepare for that. <clears throat> Tuloy yung board exam natin. Ano? Very good. <laughs> Tomorrow is the first day. <clears throat> okay. Do you have any question? Okay. Kung walang question, let's... Naintindihan na? Naintindihan na? Naintindihan na? Let's, let's, ano, let's solve a problem. Five minutes. Ayaw ba? Pag hindi, I'm going to provide another link. Ano? Parang hindi. So basahin lang muna natin yung problem. I'm going to solve a Coulson problem para para mas ano kayo, mas grounded kayo. Mas logical, mas logical yung derivation ni Coulson. 
kesa kay Jean Corbis. Okay, so let's consider this. This is from Paulson, volume 3, problem number 12.4. Hey, Paulson na kayo? Gas from a petroleum distillation column has a concentration of H2S, hydrogen sulfide. Ano? Gusto li kasi pag... Uh, <clears throat> ayun, pag, pag yung... Pag meron kayong halimbawa crude oil, ano? So... Generally, may H2S yan, yung crude oil. So, tinatanggal nila yan. So, <coughs> nagkakaroon kayo ng gas na merong H2S. So, yun, yun yung tinatawag nilang sour, sour gas kasi H2S and it's an acid. <coughs> okay. So... So the concentration of H2S is 0 0.03 kilogram mole H2S per kilogram mole of inert hydrocarbon gas. So hydrocarbon yung kasama niya in the air, no? So 0 0.03. Take note of the unit. It's kilogram mole of H2S per kilogram mole of hydrocar inert hydrocarbon gas. Unlike, unlike sa ano, kay Jean Coplis, kay Jean Coplis, small fraction, ano? So medyo kailangan nyo lang mag-adjust ng konti. <clears throat> Pero sabi ko nga sa inyo, board exam natin kay Colson kumukuha. So, hindi rin. Kasi kung natatandaan nyo, yung nung nag, nung nag ano tayo, nung nag solve tayo sa plate, puro mole fraction, ano? So, wag nyong ilalagay sa, wag nyong piliting ilagay sa box yung pag-iisip nyo, no? Kailangan, kailangan, kahit na anong libro, kahit na anong concentration, kaya nyong isolve. No, wag niyo wag niyo gagawin excuse. Ay bakit naman ganyan? Paiba-iba ang concentration. Wag niyo gagawin excuse 'yan. No? <clears throat> Kailangan kaya niyo kaya niyo kahit ano pang ibigay na problem sa inyo. <clears throat> okay, so this is concentration to 1% of this value by scrubbing with triethanol amine. No? Triethanol amine. So this this remove the H2S, ano? Yan yung kanyang malaking application ng uh, tri ng TEA no ng triethanol amine <clears throat> water solvent in a counter current tower operating at 300k kelvin and atmospheric pressure <clears throat> so the equilibrium relation for the solution may be taken as y equilibrium is equal to 2 times x ito yung ginawa natin no kung paano ginawa natin meron tayong equilibrium equation <clears throat> the solvent enter enters the tower free of h2s okay and leaves containing 0.013 kilomol kilomol of H2S per kilomol of solvent. Okay, so actually given you don't need to solve for the concentration of the liquid. Given siya, it's 0 0.013 kilomol of H2S per kilomol of solvent. Oh, ganun din yung unit niya, ano? Hindi siya total, hindi siya divided by total per kilomol of solvent. <clears throat> if the flow of inert gas is 0 0.015 kilomol per second per meter squared of tower cross section, calculate the height of the absorption Absorber necessary, so there's the total height, that's your say, letter A, and B, the number of transfer units NOG required. So yung NOG naman, and yung Y1 minus Y2 divided by Y, uh, Y minus Y sub IL. And ano, the overall coefficient for absorption, KGA, KYA, parehas lang yan, may be taken as 0 0.04 kilomole per second per cubic meter, unit mole fraction driving force. Okay. So, in, in solving this, mas mauna nyo muna siguro i-solve yung letter B, yung NOG. No? So, hanapin nyo rin yung apat na concentration, tapos uh, i-substitute nyo lang doon sa formula ng NOG. Ano lang yun. Tapos pag nasolve nyo na yung NOG, solve nyo naman yung HOG. Pag nasolve nyo yung HOG, di ba? H, ang HOG ano lang naman? Uh, B prime divided by KGA divided by S. No? Ganun lang naman siya. So, pag nasolve nyo na yung HOG, I multiply nyo lang doon sa NOG and then you will have the answer for letter A. So, mapuputol na to. I'm going to share another, ano ha? I'm going to share another Zoom link. So, nipat kayo sa kabila.